Hello everyone! So happy to be here today guys and the topic is believing deep inside believing in your bones that you deserve the best that you deserve true genuine fulfilling relationships and be ready and open to welcome them into your life this topic is inspired by the my recent experience uh, with someone um, we had the private session and as usually I'm trying to get ready for the call so sometimes I ask uh, some information ahead or maybe an email and I read the email it was so inspiring um, it was beautiful it was very it was a wonderful story of overcoming and um, opening up to something new and beautiful after many years of not so happy marriage and not so happy relationship in general and you know being in a relationship with narcissist narcissistic person uh, was a person who was very um, surface like never truly um, involved and um, never truly showing care but more like just parasite honestly <laughs> that was a story and then it was a new story a new love coming and um, there were some insights about uh, how relationship has have been evolving and so I was really excited for the conversation to, for having a session but one thing that I could not understand is what is the problem so we decided to leave it I've decided to leave it till we talk so guys to make a long story short you know what I'm learning is that sometimes we aren't ready to let the beautiful thing in our life just because we had never had one just because we never had um, a genuine caring uh, person around us uh, in that case it was also a lot of uh, a lot about affection and connection between in the new relationship and <laughs> it, it was so interesting I saw so much fear um, so much fear to open up to something new even though it feels amazing and I was thinking that I just have to share this with you guys that I think uh, every day we need to train our mind heart and soul and our beliefs that uh, we are destined for the good things we gotta believe in our bones that we worse the good things it's not about you know <laughs> demanding um, anything <laughs> you know from from people but believing inside of you uh, that good things were meant to be in your life and maybe your ways were you know you were zigzagging <laughs> till you fought till you know they appear in your life but they still were meant to be and <laughs> I, I was just so blown away so basically my session boiled down to just allowing allowing this this uh, wonderful relation to develop and take place and evolve um, everything is possible in this life our thoughts of the past often hold us back we presume that okay if the the first you know um, partner husband or wife or this way we have to suspect the other person of the same things which is not true and we don't even realize that sometimes when we are in a frustrate frustrating relationship in unfulfilled in a cold relationship maybe manipulative uh, somewhere in our mind we building a strong desire for the real one for the true one for the genuine one and I think that what is was happening in the case in this case because this man was uh, 
a uh, very dedicated man. He didn't want to, to leave his family early. He tried to work things out. And it took about 15 years to realize that, you know, it's not going to change, regardless how much time will pass. And so, um, he took that um, step and he told me he was, he was tired lying to himself that it's going to work out. He was tired to being something that is, you know, wasn't, wasn't right. You know, being <laughs> somewhere uh, for a long time doesn't make it right. That's uh, another insight for me as well. Being in s somewhere long enough, invested enough, it's not going to make it right. <laughs> but today's actual message, guys, is that we got to be able to allow these beautiful things to happen and we got to believe in them and sometimes when they are happened we might need help we might uh, call somebody who has been doing great all their life for them respect connection affection trust love isn't something uh, so unusual it's something that they they experience every day because they do have that um, kind of connection in their family. I think it's very important to recognize those things as wonderful, but possible and everyday life things. Yes, it's hard because you've never had them. You maybe never had a caring uh, person around you, passionate person, affectionate, just, just, you know, person that delights you, person that just love to be around you. You may never had it, you may never felt cared, but how about give it a try? How about opening up for it? And uh, yeah, maybe asking for some support <laughs> from others, maybe um, sharing with your close people, you know, maybe you have a very loving mother even, or maybe you have a very, uh, well, hopefully it's mom and dad, Maybe you have a very loving sister and you just, you know, <laughs> you are so unprepared for this. You, you feel like it came out of nowhere, but it didn't. It's a result of your prayers, prayers, desires, uh, and also it's a result of you working on yourself. Because uh, somehow in your past life, you were resonating with that other person. Somehow um you were connected and you attracted that person into your life and you even though it may not have been smooth but you have got accustomed to it and it set your expectations very low and i believe these things are really subconscious that's why sometimes we're scared when something amazing happens this uh, particular session was probably one of the most inspiring guys and I'm, it, it, it feels really, I love seeing people that say no to negative beliefs and generalizations and then the world coming to an end and all that and just focusing on bettering themselves and believing that I, I can offer wonderful things for other people. Um, I'll be totally comfortable if other people who are the same like me will enter my life. So just being open, being ready. And if you need help, you know, if you need advice, if you need an insight when things are amazing and you're just scared to death, <laughs> you can... Um, reach out to a person that you trust and they will be happy for you and they will reassure you that it's normal it's normal to care it's normal to love it's normal to trust uh you know getting advice from a herp happy person or support or perspective is always nice um in our vip club we are uh, changing um exchanging and learning all kinds of things right now uh, we are reading a book um very powerful men's book 
uh, in the club. We kind of taking a little Christmas break, but we're going to be back to it very shortly. So if anybody needs a support group, <laughs> please let me know. I wish you a wonderful holiday and please let the miracle in because they only happened in the places where you believe in them. Thank you.